Um, I'm gonna be 100% honest, I didn't know that these could drop a spirit seed. I have no idea how rare that is. I'm going to look it up right now. I hope that's not really rare, because that's freaking weird that it dropped that. Probably gotten them before on my main, I just haven't done these in so long that I completely forgot about that. I don't think anything comes close to being as rare as the uh, Dragon Warhammer though. I don't think it's that much of a troll rot. I just got 89 magic. I did not think I was actually that close to a new level. That's pretty cool. I don't know if I unlock anything. Uh, I guess I don't. Yeah, I guess, like, the next big thing I unlock is at 94. Um, I just got myself a dragon spear. Please don't jump on me. That's the first time I think I've ever gotten a dragon spear from something like this. I got one from Gorax, I think, on this account, but, like, I grinded for that. But, yeah, we got the, uh, pretty freaking rare item here kind of cool all right well i got myself three hard caskets and one elite casket let's go ahead and start opening these up uh we can do the hard first we got some alks there more alks please be page four ah oh, i need page four. Oh well it's 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 page not bad i guess although it's not good because i don't need it the chest turned out to be a mimic no way! We got a freaking Mimic! I don't know how to do this boss. I've never gotten it on my main. I think I need to wait to do this on my main first, because I would hate to go in there blind, not knowing how to do it, and just die. It's probably really easy, but I, ha I just feel like that'd be stupid to do without ever trying it on another account first. Five minutes later. You know, that was actually a lot easier than I thought, but I actually came into the room and it said something about, like, challenging the Mimic. Um, and I just wanted to make sure that I could leave, and it did let me leave, but it ended up saying I only have four more chances to defeat the mix, so I think my loot's gonna be less this time. Almost as if I failed the first time just for walking out. But let's go ahead and open this. Oh, uh, what the heck is that? Light tuxedo shoes? And then I also got another 100 and, or no, 480 death runes, which I think normally would be 600 death runes if I didn't walk out, if I'm not mistaken. But that's pretty cool. I mean, I'm not going to complain with an extra 480 death runes for an easy fight. And then this. <laughs> Whatever those are. I think those are purely cosmetic. I kind of want to see what these look like, actually. Oh, those don't even look... Honestly, these look better. <laughs> these look just weird. I don't know. Your feet get really tiny. I have small arms and small feet now. Alright, so I'm actually pretty happy right now. I just finished up 2,000 Shaman kills with a Rune Crossbow. Um, I would have done it with a Blowpipe, but we had some bingo event and I didn't have time to go get a Blowpipe. And I just wanted to get it over with. But yeah, I'm not happy in the sense that I got a Dragon Warhammer. That didn't happen. Otherwise, I would have shown you guys earlier of me actually getting it. But I did have only 100k GP and this helped me a lot and I'll show you how. I literally got... Probably about 1 mil in GP I've already spent, you know, probably about 300k on, like, random stuff like runes and stuff. But not only that, my out tab was completely empty, and this is what the out tab looks like now. I got 7.5 mil in alks. I guess I lied, it wasn't completely empty, like, for instance, this Carol's Coif wasn't obtained from shamans. But, um, some of this other stuff definitely was. I, pretty much everything. Um, unfortunately, yeah. <laughs> But I'm so glad that we got like a ton of this stuff because we are going to have fun alking this and we got money for days right now. Uh, actually, I don't need those Addy Bolts. I'll use those later though. Yeah, that's quite literally the entire everything. There's nothing in there, so I'll just throw those back in. What is this alk for? 7k and it's for... Uh, I think I have one. Honestly, I might help it, to be honest. I just I don't need it. But yeah, we're looking at a good cash stack again. That's pretty freaking awesome. Coming in with 82 fishing, I can now fish anglerfish, which is pretty cool, and minnows at the fishing guild. I actually didn't even know that. Although I do not have whatever you call that angler or whatever, that angler set, so I can't go in there anyway. But I'm actually going to leave here, and I think I need a fishing pole, which should be in here somewhere. Yeah, I need that. And I think sandworms. I really hope it's sandworms. Either way, I'm going to need like a lot more, which I got a cash stack from shamans now. So that's pretty cool. Take this to Piscalaris. Piscalarius. I don't even know <laughs> how to pronounce that place, but you guys know where I'm going. 
And yeah, basically we can come here and fish for anglerfish because I'm going to need these for the future for Theater of Blood and Cerberus, Corp, all those bosses pretty much. I'm going to use anglerfish. But yeah, it'd be nice to just stock up on all that annoying stuff so when I do start pumping out videos for this series, I already have all this stuff. Because this is boring stuff to do. So I have 403 marks of grace and I'm currently 54k XP till 90 herb lore. So that's definitely going to get me there with all these crystals. Basically I ran out of all my herb lore supplies, but I saw this in the bank. I was kind of frustrated at first until I realized that I had these and I was like, I actually do have enough for 90 herb lore, which for those who don't know, I've probably mentioned it in some clips, but I've been, this, this account's kind of weird. I kind of forget where I'm at clips wise and what I've said in previous clips because I've been recording these so spaced out, mainly because I'm working on the five bill series as of right now of recording this clip. I might as well just buy all because I don't think I need anything else from them. I mean, I already have full graceful. Might have to learn the hard way, but either way, I got 4,000 Amylice Crystals, which, actually, it's one per dose, so I got 1,000 Staminas now. That's a lot of Staminas. There you go, there's all my Super Energy Potions. I currently have 251 Staminas, so I have quite a bit of Staminas. It's pretty nice, but I could start making these, and I'm getting 102 XP per. I can make 1,000 potions, so 102k XP. Definitely have enough. But yeah, it's going to be so sick, and I'll see you guys at 90 Herblore. Alright, two more potions. One more. And there is 90 Herblore. Oh yeah, I can make super combats now. Although I was able to make those before. I got 467 of them. I just forgot that I was boosting for them. Now, one other thing that I completely forgot about is Divine Potions. Let's scroll down. I know that, that the last one, 97 for the Divine Super Combat, but... 92. Oh no, that's super anti-fire. Divine magic is 78, so divine ranging. Wow, 74 for divine ranging. That's so far down there. Okay, I've been able to make that forever now. So I guess realistically the next goal on this account for herb lore wise would be 97 for divine super combats. Although I think divine super combat is still a pretty situational potion. I don't know exactly where it's best in slot at. But yeah, this account is starting to really look good. I'm getting closer to 2,000 total. I have 100 million XP. It's starting to shape up pretty good. All right, here we go. Here is the last birdhouse for 80 Hunter. And the nice thing about 80 Hunter is, first of all, it looks like a clean level. That's just nice. Let's get that out of the way. But now I can also do Herbivore. And I can catch Crystal Implings and place five traps. Wow, you get a lot of stuff for 80 Hunter. I have not done the quest for Crystal Impling, so I'm not too bothered with that. Um, I don't really have a desire to do that quest on this account, honestly. There's not really much you get for Song of the Elves. At least that I'm aware of right now. I'm sure in the future I might change my mind, but as of right now, I'm just not too bothered by it. But I really do like the fact that I can do this. Um, I don't even know where to start this. I know there's like plants or there's starting points I just don't know right now. Actually, you know what? I think they're highlighted. I think that's a way to start it. And I think back there is probably where to start it. But yeah, 80 Hunter. It's freaking awesome. But yeah, I'm going to keep doing the birdhouses to 99. But I'll probably also do herbivore too for the pet. And then it's also great herbs. So it's honestly just really freaking nice to have. All right, we got 173 tiers. Let's see how much XP we get. Should be a little over 10k. Oh, 11,000. But more importantly, we got 70 rune crafting and we're base 70 stats right now. I can make six mind runes and three fire runes from one essence, which I won't be doing that, but I, I just like that I'm 70 rune crafting. Honestly, the biggest goal right now is to get 77 bloods. I'm not necessarily going for it, but when I am talking about rune crafting, that's pretty much the next milestone that I need. So we just ended up killing the boss for the Fremenic Exiles quest. It was actually pretty easy. Spam through this dialogue real quick. And there we go. There's quests complete. Um, I got the V shield, 15k Slayer XP, 15k crafting, and 5k rune crafting, and two quest points. As you can see, my inventory, I ate basically four sharks, maybe five. I can't even remember if I brought a full inventory, but yeah, I mean, I had tons of food and stuff left. It's nice to get that out of the way. Now I can go for a basilisk task and try to get the new best in slot helmet. Before I forget, I'm actually going to go ahead and unlock the task for 80 points. 
and then I need to extend it as well for another 100 points. I do need to buy myself a rune pouch at some point. I'm currently a little bit short. I don't want to buy it immediately when I get the points too, because if I get a bad task and I can't skip it. But I just got another block task, so that's kind of cool. I don't know if this is the a very accurate order of what I should have blocked on here. I should probably redo this. Yeah, actually, I'm pretty positive Iron Dragons is a very bad block task, but I blocked that like a long time ago. But yeah, I guess I'm going to start grinding for a Basilisk task now. But I'm going to go ahead and pop uh, the Master, because why not? Literally freaking garbage, dude. Not or Not wow. one unique. It's Rune Ore, Black D Hide, Death Runes, and Nature Runes. That's disgusting. Yeah, that was not worth it. And then the Master Clue is also garbage. I don't think he knows. Arcane! Dude, that's, that's so actually so freaking nice. awesome. Nice. That completes the spell book, huh? Yeah, it does, yeah. Nice. Hell yeah. That's so freaking nice, dude. So, uh, let's go steak. <laughs> <laughs> let's go chuck it. I'll drop it to you guys real quick. Dude, that's freaking sick, though. Four point. I mean, yeah, hell yeah, dude. Um, let me hop to my main real quick and I'll pay you guys out. All, right, all those clips were recorded a few months ago, so I don't have a outro clip, so I'm just doing this kind of like live right now. But we're going to end that episode off with finishing off the prayer book. That's pretty sick, but until next time, guys, I'll see you later. Peace out.